Hey friends and welcome to today's talk about the RT-PCR, which is short for Reverse Transcription PCR. We apply Reverse Transcription PCR when we have an RNA fragment and we want to transform it into DNA so that we can amplify it to sequence it. This is for example applied when we have to check if a person is infected by a virus since many viruses contain RNA, we first have to extract the RNA and with reverse transcription generate DNA and then we can amplify the DNA with PCR. We use reverse transcription PCR, for example, nowadays in the 2020 COVID-19 coronavirus when we test patients whether they are infected with the virus or not. In the normal transcription procedure, DNA serves as a template and RNA is transcribed out of DNA. However, in reverse transcription, it is the opposite. We have an RNA template here and with reverse transcriptase as an enzyme, we can generate DNA out of RNA. And how this is done, I will show you now in detail. So first we split the RT-PCR into two steps. First we have the reverse transcription. And what happens here is that we need the primer to anneal to the RNA template. The second step is the cDNA synthesis and this is done with an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase binds in the primer region and is now synthesizing the DNA nucleotides, the newly cDNA strand. Now we get to the PCR. This double-stranded cDNA here has first to undergo a denaturation step. So the strands will split and then specific primers can anneal to the DNA fragment here. A DNA polymerase, which is known from replication, can now join the DNA fragment. In most cases in the lab we use so-called TAC polymerase, which is very heat stable. The TAC polymerase can now synthesize double-stranded DNA. If we repeat several different cycles, we can generate multiple fragments of DNA out of one. If one DNA fragment serves as a template, in the second cycle we have already two DNA fragments and in the third cycle we already have four and so on and so forth. If you want to know more about the PCR step, I made a video about that which I just put in the video description. So you can watch the video where I talk about PCR more in detail later. Finally, I would like to conclude what do we need for the reverse transcription PCR when we go in the lab. So first, of course, we need our RNA sample. Secondly, we need the primers. Further, we need the enzyme called reverse transcriptase, which will generate cDNA out of our RNA fragment. We need DNTPs for the synthesis, of course. And for the polymerase chain reaction, for the PCR, we need the enzyme called polymerase. So in a nutshell, reverse transcription PCR can synthesize DNA fragments out of an RNA template. And with PCR and applying different cycles, we can generate high quantities of the DNA so that it is possible to sequence the genome. That was it for today. I really hope you understood the main points I wanted to show you. And if you have more questions, drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Bye.